hey what's up youtube thanks again for coming back to the channel welcome back to new subscribers thank you very much for subscribing um and for all those new people to the channel welcome again and make sure to hit that like and subscribe button i'm climbing here on the akimbo and i'm actually close to the ground <laughs> but anyway uh here's a little uh demo on how to adjust your akimbo and just the things that you want to avoid and what you want with the akimbo what you want it to be doing and just a proper function test and that's pretty much it so give me a like and subscribe and here go and what's up youtube it's jose here with captain hook tree climbing um about to just do a quick video for you guys it's gonna be on the akimbo and just getting it ready for climbing and pretty much just showing you guys the do's and the don'ts of what you want it to look like and what you don't want it to look like and uh, it's just a beautiful device it's not something you just want to keep in the bag it's beautiful for spar work it's nice and compact it's just a great tool overall so uh, without further ado i'm going to get up onto this climbing line right here okay and and there's the climbing line so um it's it's just a bit of uh i think it's the dragonfly something like that it's real nice rope you want to grab your kimbo nice blue anodized finish here it's just wonderful it is an absolute beauty so guys this multi sender gives you the ability to adjust your friction requirements depending on how fast you want to descend how aggressive you want to be adding slack into your line how fast you want to be moving up and down the rope so that's going to depend on your friction settings there uh you know you can uh you can go in uh granny mode no offense to all the grannies out there oh grandsons granddaughters we all love you but yeah you can go very slow or you can set it to you know be almost free falling as soon as you uh you know you pull down on this upper cam and then you're almost free falling right so you can be doing that too before you even get there what you want to start doing is free up your bollards the upper and lower bollards Right? And you do that by pulling down on these locking arms there. And so now you can break its back and here you go. Your bollards are free. You want to be able to get it into the highest friction setting. So so I got it up in G and then the lower bollard let me just lock this off here. All right, so, all right, so I locked that off. And now the lower baller, you wanna bring it up to the seven. So, you, it's kind of hard to see, so, you know, I wish Rock Exotica would've made this a little bit more user-friendly. And there you go. So now the Akimbo is, officially in the highest setting. Um, this is probably not gonna be good for me. This is probably gonna be really uh, tight and just absolutely obnoxious. So I'm gonna give that a try here. And voila. So got my harness on, right? I didn't have it on before. So here we go. And see if we can. I am certainly very tight right here. And it's uh, probably not gonna work out because um, there's this thing you want to avoid. I'll show you. So say here where, you know, the Kimbo looks engaged. It looks good, looks good to go. But that's the problem. So the first sign is this, I'm not moving and 
the upper can already hit the lower can that that's a no-no the way we're going to proceed from here is like this and thank you rock exotica for making this midline attachable and just seriously easy 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 so i'm at seven now bring it down to the five and then we'll check out how the friction is there um this is how you want to go about tightening um it's been a while since i read the manual but i'm pretty sure this is the order of operations here so all right so you want to take out the friction out of your lower baller before you do it to the upper baller all right because you want a little bit more friction up top than you do at the bottom all right so so now i got all my weight on here and we're just going to give it a shot we're going to see if this adjustment worked and so oh it did it most definitely did and So the upper bollard is on the G setting. It's on the largest, on the highest setting. So I didn't, I didn't play with that yet. That right there would be like a ballpark adjustment. And now that I'm pretty much where I want to be, I'll lower it down to to three, and then I'll also lower it down from G. E and to the F. So do an F, F3. You want to have more um, friction up top than you do at the bottom. Uh, just a side note, with this Dragonfly rope, I'm able to be 120 kilograms. Uh, so basically, 120 kilograms is going to allow me to, you know, pump my weight into this. And on top of that, carry around big saws like for spar work things like that so those are the times that this setup is going to be perfect for um i don't know why you would go wrong with the 120 kilogram setup versus the 100 kilogram 100 kilogram pretty much just it kills your options pretty fast so you want to be within you know that safe work and load limit and the 120 kilogram option which is with the dragonfly and the akimbo uh just it's gonna it's gonna provide you that extra security that extra layer of safety so um this is something that i mentioned in my previous video if you haven't watched it it's uh, uh with the captain work positioning um and i'll post it somewhere up here in the left of the screen and so you guys can you know see that same concept go through this is how the adjustment goes and so now i'm moving before my upper cam touches my lower cam and that right there is exactly what you want you can't go wrong with that so hey guys um let me know what you guys think if you guys need a little bit more advice on the akimbo um i know recently somebody asked me do i prefer this over the chicane and pestle and i don't know uh there are some caveats with this tool this tool likes to behave differently uh, on different days i would say that when it's colder it's gonna uh, behave differently because your rope probably isn't gonna stretch as much so you're probably gonna have to loosen the the settings a little bit go a little bit lower and also when it's hotter outside, you're probably gonna want to go to a higher setting because your rope is gonna be stretchier. One thing that I know for certain, one thing that I have experience with is climbing with this thing in the rain and just light rain, just like light drizzle kind of rain. Um, this thing changes just totally different thing, you know? It, it starts slipping and when I'm telling you that it slips, it slips, it slips like no tomorrow like like i need to get off of this rope kind of thing like don't even want to work so 
<clears throat> so for you guys out there asking what's better this or the chicane and zigzag um it depends really on the weather and the day the chicane and zigzag is a reliable setup even with the rip wrench very reliable setup in the rain in the snow uh when it's hot when it's cold you name it uh that that's a reliable setup all the time but it's not as compact as this also for spar work this thing is going to be just a beauty anyways guys uh these are just some tips these are some of my observations this is how you adjust the akimbo the number one takeaway from this video is basically this you want to have more friction on the upper cam than the lower cam because you, you don't want this upper cam touching this lower cam before you've begun descending so that's going to give you more control um, probably most likely going to prevent like a free fall type of scenario so I'm just going to demonstrate that one last time you want this to happen okay I know a lot of people speak about jerkiness with the akimbo and that is true it is true but um that's when you improperly adjust it and then on top of that you need to like just fine tune it and tuning this tool is not something you do in five minutes you kind of got to play with it a little bit you got to be um I don't know, you, gotta, you probably just gotta climb on it on whatever setting you got it on. Just making sure that you followed the previous steps, right? Make sure you did that. And just uh, climb on that for a while. See what exactly you want it to do. And once you have the idea of where you want it to be and, and all those kind of things, then go ahead and readjust and just give it another shot. And I think after that you should be a whole lot better off yeah so then you're you're descending like this right this thing is beautiful man i love this tool just try to avoid free falls man seriously um watch my video previously to this on the uh on a little review and also it has a um some preventative techniques in there for when you are cutting and you're you know you've got a work position how to prevent a free fall in case the upper cam was struck by a branch or whatever have you right you go for a free fall you want to prevent that at all times that is the number one thing with this tool watch that video it's going to show you what to do it's going to give you an idea hopefully you can take that make it your own and let me know what you guys think i just want to give you guys a a tip real quick on how to just to eliminate that jerkiness and basically the way you eliminate the jerkiness is by making sure that you adjust the lower bollard to a lower friction level than the upper bollard that's going to give you a really consistent uh type of descent and i'll show you guys here uh the jerkiness is well it's not really there right it's pretty consistent and and that's really it so just uh give you guys another tip there because i know that this uh device is touted for that jerkiness and it can be eliminated uh to an extent not totally eliminated but you kind of just got to work on the device and get used to it as well just like any other device all right guys so that's the end of the video there for you and i just want to thank you guys again for visiting the channel for watching the video and um i'll be putting out another video real soon uh make sure to leave some comments let me know what you guys want what you guys want to see in the future um i'm just kind of making videos right now on the fly and would love to get some feedback on what you want to see the things that you're interested in because you guys are watching the channel so um i would like to just kind of uh give you guys what you guys want to see right so let me know what you think uh let me know what you want to see 
and I'll definitely get on it and I'll put a video out as soon as I can. So thanks again, guys. Stay safe, stay healthy, and until next time, peace out.